Welcome back. This is the second part of what I'm playing. It's going to be Persona 3 again. Persona 3 Fest. Persona 3 The Journey. I like the design on that uh, on that ceiling fan there. That's kind of, kind of snazzy. Does that have any semblance to like the story or anything? I don't know. You know, we're back at the dorm. I can't remember the name of this dorm. Something important. Let's talk to Mitsuru. Yes, how can I help you? Uh, no, let's not go to Tartarus just yet. We might do that in this part. We might not. I can't walk through there. You can't actually walk through here. You have to talk to the guy on the sofa from behind, which is so dumb, but, you know, one of my small gripes with this game. I'm a little disappointed about Fuka-san. Fuka-chan. Fuka-kun. Fuka-kun? That's so weird to say. Fuka's a girl, so take that into consideration. Um, I guess she just did have a uh, short, does have short hair, so. Oh, Akihiko's back. That's cool. Fuka Yamagishi, yeah, she is, um, let me turn this down, actually, because this happens every time. I was just playing Grand Theft Auto 4, I just recorded, like, part 37, 38, so I had the volume up for that, because that's a really soft game, and then this one is super loud, so I don't, you know, my, my audio is all mixed up. Yeah, your persona is really strong, that's cool. I feel like I need to explain all the things that are going on right now, um, like, everything about personas and all that cool stuff, but I'll hold off, you know. Well, let's just enjoy this for what it is right now. It's actually kind of interesting. When it comes to the character choices in this game, I prefer the ones in Persona 4, uh, the setup, so to speak. And I say that because... Hold up, is there a girl out here? There's like a creepy chick out here. Oh, she's not in this one, she's in Portable. There's like a girl in an alleyway <laughs> in Portable, and she's kind of weird, I don't like that. Um, but yeah, you have a lot more physical attackers in this game than you do... Um, special attackers. Like, you have Junpei and Akihiko who do physical attacks. Um, who else? Maybe that's it, but it just feels like there are too many physical attackers when magic is how you stun enemies. Um, can we go in here? We can, that's awesome. Even, uh, we have a couple other characters we'll meet who don't necessarily use magic to their best abilities, but... I feel like there's some characters that have just had way better magic stats in uh, Persona 4. Uh, dancing, dancing. How's it going? It's going groovy, bro. Let's talk to the bartender. Yeah, we're a little too young to be in here. Can I have some fruit juice, though? I love fruit juice. Yeah, let's tell me my fortune. Very well. I feel another change. A strong wind blows across the world, sending a blue flower's petals into the air. How will you interpret this wind? As a weak and frail breeze, or a brave and mighty gust? Farewell, then may your future be bright. That is a fortune teller lady. She tells you a little bit about the bosses that you'll find, um, and just basically what's going on in the story. This girl's been shy all her life, though I guess that fortune teller does look scary. She's got a weird aura. You know the fortune teller? The one they call Den Mother or Mama? She's got a very weird presence. It's like she's in another world. I want her to tell my I want her to tell my fortune, but I don't have the courage to talk to her. Alright. Is there there's an upstairs here? Can we go and see if anybody's up here? Oh, there's nobody here. It's actually cool, the Persona 4 characters come here um, on their, gold, I don't know if it's Golden Week, it's one of their holidays they take, they have a field, a school trip rather, it's in I think it's September, um, they actually go to Persona 3 area, which is, what's this place called, is it in here, I know the name of it, I just cannot remember, Tatsumi Port Island I think, I think that's right, um, is there anything to do over here, nothing, alright so we'll go actually to Tartarus tonight. See what's going on. Sometimes you'll have characters who you can friend and befriend and whatnot in Polonium Wall at night. Other times you won't. Um, interestingly enough, you can tell from the map here when you go to the dorm, he clearly goes through. Oh, he goes past the school. He goes through the station, which is another locale. Yet you can't actually stop in the station, which I mean I guess makes sense if you're a little kid or teenager running around at night. You don't really want to stop in a station, but uh, let's see. Um. I guess we'll just go to Tartarus. The early part of this game is incredibly difficult. Um, not incredibly difficult, but let's check everyone's stats. Can everyone go? Who isn't feeling well? Yes, I do want to know. Please tell me. All right, she's good. Yukari is good. Wait, how do you switch uh, members? Here we go. He's good. If Akihiko's tired, then why did you say he's back? He's not back then. Uh, let's see, we'll go for a little while. Do I have, um, let me check my items really quickly, make sure I have a go home, are those in this game? I don't even remember. 
I don't have any. Um, all right, whatever. We'll go. If we fail, we fail. If we don't, we don't. Let's see. So yeah, it's Persona games. I guess are known for their difficulty compared to other games. Atlas in general is known for their dif difficulty, but Persona Four, I find it's a little bit easier. It's more user friendly. Um, this game, the start of this game, it's pretty brutal in terms of the way the floor system works. Um, you start at the beginning of a floor. You don't start at the beginning of, like a, of a section of floors. You don't start at the given floor. So if there's ten floors in a dungeon in Persona 4, you can start at like Persona at floor eight if you get there. If there's uh, where's Akihiko? Is he even here? You join my party, you tool. Um, if there's like ten floors here, but that's the that's subset one of say five floors of Tartarus or five subsets of Tartarus. Uh, you don't start out at the 10th floor of that first subset, you start at floor 1. Uh, it's kind of confusing, but you'll you understand if you play the game or whatever. Anyway, it's like this. You can start off, these are the base floors. Um, but if I, let's say I get to floor 29, but the next base floor is floor 30. I don't get to start at floor 29, I get to start at floor 25. I have to work my way up to floor 30. So, there are inter interspersed bosses um, at the different floors and whatever. So, it's pretty interesting. It's not terrible, but it is, I, I find it a lot tougher than, um, than need be. This is your game map, your interactive portion of the game. Well, I guess it's all interactive, but you have, you're leading, uh, what's this guy's name? Minato Arisato? Arisato Minato? Something like that. His first name is Minato. Um... Which, again, Persona characters, their main characters don't have real names necessarily. You can name whatever they want, but canonically, they do have names in the ice cream. They have names in the uh, comics and, like, official mangas and whatnot, so... But I'll explain what happened before that when I get back to the uh, overworld screen. But these are your enemies. Let's press L1. Alright, so... You have a wheel of skills. I'm not going to really explain everything in depth or anything like that. But you can attack enemies like a regular RPG. What were they weak to? There are the weaknesses. So, as uh, Mitsuru said, we can use Bufu, which is our ice attack, to chill it to the bone. If you hit a weak spot, does extra damage, knocks them down, so you get an extra attack. Can we get another one? Another one. I love this battle music too. This is amazing battle music. If you have all the enemies down that you're facing at the given time, uh, you can do a relentless fallout attack, which is you know, an all-out attack. All your team members gang up on the enemies, and uh, yeah. Shuffle time. Let's keep our eye on the rightmost card. It's in the middle. We want experience points. Okay. You know, I never even thought I probably could let's play this game. I was thinking about that because, you know what? I don't want to do. No, okay, I forgot to explain that again. But anyway, um, I don't really want to do a JRPG because there'd be a lot of editing I'd have to do. I have to cut out like battles and repetitive things. And... Oh, yo, he just got screwed up. Yo, we just screwed up super hard. All right, where are they weak to? Enemy is weak. Four enemies remain. Stay um, so Akihiko's dead. He's tired. When you're tired, you take more damage and you fall down more. So the same way we can knock enemies down, they can knock us down. They get extra attacks too. So. This sucks. I just hope I can hit everybody with uh, Zio. But, yeah, what I was saying, I would want to record this, but I feel like it would be too... Uh, I have to do too much editing, and I mean, not, not that that's a bad thing necessarily, but I don't want to, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I want to jump into a super long game anytime soon, because GTA 4 is going to be long, um, and I already have some stuff recorded that I'd like to get around to. Uh, there you go. Right, so we got experience points. The other thing is, experience is scaled to your characters, so... Uh, Gosh, these guys are dead. Um, can we? Can you? Can you heal them? Wait, I think I have to revive them first. I'm pretty sure I have to revive them first. Uh, what do we have here? Smith soul. Uh, I'm not using the soma. Somas are very rare. 
uh, you don't get them too often at all, so be wary of that. Revival beads, I think you can buy those. If you can't, you get them frequently enough, so that's all good. Let's talk to you, Cardi. No, not you. Uh, another thing in this game, you have to actually talk to you, Cardi, to heal in the map area, so it's really frustrating because you can do that from a menu in Persona 4 um, for any character, whereas in this game, you can only use your main character to heal from the menu, so. What I wanted to say before, though, was when you're on the map, you have enemies, and they all look the same on the overworld sprite, but you can interact with them. You can press X to slash, and you'll notice that this guy has a huge sword. His sword has a huge back. Holy crap, it's buzzing outside. Something's going on. Um, yeah, he has a huge backswing, so it takes a while to hit the enemies, so you have to kind of time it appropriately. In Persona 3 Portable, it's a lot easier to hit enemies, um, but you can sneak up on them. Get a preemptive strike or play at Ranchiju. That was a terrible, terrible accident. Not, well. Not sure I was going there. Um, the Bufu. All right. So who else has? No one else has ice. So I'm gonna have to keep using my SP. Let's check our personas. Cool thing about this game, you can switch personas mid uh, mid match. So that's really nifty. Gives you a lot of customization to your skills. And you know, add a little added layer of detail. And the thing is, I normally don't like RPGs like that. We have too many choices. But for some reason, these enemies or these games are so much more fun because you can make mix and match and whatnot. Um, and it's interesting because a game like this, like oh, for example, I have uh, Symphonia Tales of Symphonia for the PS3, the re-release, because everyone's like, you have to play that game. So I, I got that game, I played it, but I haven't beaten it. I actually kind of got lost, and that was like a year ago, or I stopped playing, so now I'm lost. <laughs> so I don't want to go back to it. Maybe I'll record that after this, I can figure out where I am. But it'll probably be a waste of time. Uh, you? So, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Um, custom oh yeah, I don't like games with a lot of customization and a lot of choices. But this game, it does a pretty good job of uh, not scaring me away from those choices. I think they're weak to ice too. No, fire. Um, who has fire? Uh, Junpei has fire, and what's she weak to? Or he, Raven, Luffy again? Three enemies remain. One of the problems is uh, Mitsuru here, the command leader or whatever. She is actually a playable character, um, or choice fighter you can use, but you can't access her until you get another uh, team leader, or whatever you call it, commander, info chick, <laughs> which... Uh, we'll meet her later for the team of this game, but you know Yo, and that's the worst thing. All right, so you saw I didn't select any attacks for my teammates um, So they are They're AI. And AI is okay Generally speaking if there's a known weakness of an enemy The AI will attack that week generally speaking generally speaking but because they're AI they almost, I mean, I almost think they're like real people, because they, they, they will screw you over so hard, and it's terrible. Um, even at some of their times where there is a known weakness, and by known weakness I mean you had Mitsuru or the later uh, commander girl scan for their weakness. Even if it's known, there are times where they won't use the right attack, and then you just get, keep getting screwed up. So there's a level of random choice to this game, um, which makes it a lot harder than Persona 4. Persona 4, if I screw up, I'm like, I'm pissed, but I know that it was my fault. Oh yeah, let's double up. Ooh, Omorikane. Oh, I don't want these guys. I already have Omorikane. He's the uh, brain octopus guy you saw. But we'll pick him up anyway. Alright, so we restored some HP. That's cool. Other thing, like most JRPGs, your HP doesn't restore um, until you return back to the first floor of Tartarus. So, you have to ma manage your trips wisely. Uh, where are we going? Is there... No, I don't want to do that. I want to... How do I... How do I... Nope. How do I map? How do I map? Uh... There is no map option. In Persona 3 Portable, you can bring up the map, which is pretty nifty. You can see the entirety of what you've explored so far. Do I dare? No, I'm just gonna go to the next floor. <clears throat> Excuse me. I figure I'll go for like six more minutes or something, see what happens. Yo, check out this face though, that's kind of creepy. When I played this on Portable, I never paid that any attention, but that's really kind of freaky over here. Discharm, so that is for status ailments. 
coming from portable, the timing of that attack is so, so different. Um, so every time I pick up this game, it's so annoying because I can't time it properly. Uh, let me check my phone really quickly. What is that? Uh, up to the minute. Uh, da -da. Shout outs. All right. Anyway, I'm going to do what? He was weak to fire. Junpei has fire, but I don't trust Junpei because he's a weasley little turd. Let's see. Mm. Aramitama. I'll go with him. Yo, I'm I'm so tempted right now to play this for my channel. I mean, I'm not going to do it right now. I'm not going to do it. I probably, if I do start this game, it wouldn't be until uh, GTA 4 is near the end. And Catherine is like definitely over. So I wouldn't want to do this and Catherine all at the same time. Uh, just because they're both bad in this game, because I kind of want to separate the two. But. I don't know. I, I really do think I could play this game. Um, and considering the other thing is, too, I never beat this version of the game. I've beaten um, the portable version a couple times, but I've never beaten this version. So that would be kind of do, cool to do for my channel. Experience, all about the experience points. The different cards there give you different different stuffs, um, so pretty helpful. You want to go for certain ones. Oh my god, the purple guys are super strong, hella strong, if you will. So be careful about that. No, 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 no. Back up, back up. So yeah, now uh, if he locks onto you, he will follow. He won't go past a certain point because I guess he's programmed that way. But yeah, he will follow your butt like white on rice. No, get out my way, you cardi. Get out the way. No preemptive strike, but we'll take him on. More tables. I think it's cool. None of the enemies here like are too outlandish. Um, they're all like things or animals or whatever. Um, which I mean, I guess they all represent things, so that's why they're not like, random fantasy monsters. But they're manifestations of something. Great job. If I can find a whatchamut jig. Oh, I didn't even mean to pick you. I wasn't paying attention. I wanted to find one of the little shrine things so I could get back to the first floor because I wanna I wanna start to get this back to where I was beginning. Uh can I find one? Nope, I don't want that because I don't feel like fighting you. <laughs> the other one of the biggest scraps I have with this game is that the oh, Come on now, let's sneak past this homie. If you go on those that raised platform over there, he won't follow you. Like that, he can't get up here because he can't climb stairs. So that's good to keep in mind if you're planning your route through these areas. Um, like this guy, we gotta we gotta juke juke him. We gotta juke juke him. Cool stairs, not what I wanted, but they will serve a purpose at this point. Uh, can I get a shrine? I was saying something else, I can't remember. I'll take this item though. 2004 yen. Yeah, the, the money you get in this game is incredibly random. I don't know how they calculate how much you get at a time. Oh, I'll take on the little baby guy. The little baby! I still probably split my arm parts, but. Alright, we got. He's weak to thunder, right? Yeah. I don't have that, so we'll just attack. You have rush attack, so you can just. Oh my god, he got two attacks. Yeah, that was so stupid of me. And she's going to heal automatically because that's what she does. She is your healer for the game. Yes, hit him with Z. Please don't miss. Okay, good. Alright, hope I really want to just get out of this dungeon. It's so hard to level up, though. Like, levels, it takes forever to get levels. Um, Alright, let's wait for this guy, wait for this guy. That's the other thing. I'm not sure if I... If I did play this or another JRPG for my channel, I would probably want to do um, post-commentary. That just seems like it would make sense, just because I could... Uh, that's not where I want to be. Um, okay, let's focus. And then I could cut out battles and not have to worry about syncing up dialogue and all that stuff. But I, I really do prefer live commentary. Um, it's just... Way more fun to think. You're in the moment. Post commentary does have its uses, but fun fact, actually, I've only ever done post commentary once on my on my channel, and 
it was actually the very first video that I ever made. Um, well, not very first video, but the first video of like, first Let's Play video I made. It was for um, Sonic CD Part One, and it turned out that when I recorded, it was like I had an older computer when I was recording, so I would press record on my software. And similar to how it, now it'll kind of have little hiccups where it won't start recording until a certain point, it would be it was so bad in the hotbox. It just didn't work on my computer. Um, so I recorded and I recorded my intro. I was like, "Hey, what's up, guys? Whatever." And I realized when I was editing the video together, my intro wasn't working. Um, which we call the the intro didn't work, so I had to re-record um, the intro and the uh, which we call it my voice to go with that. Um, so that was one instance of post commentary, and you know, really small, but hey, I leveled up, fantastic. What level is that? Fourteen? Oh my gosh, such babies right now. I just want. Can I just kind of leave, please? Can I leave, please? Can I leave, please? Is that stairs? Is that stairs? That's stairs right there. Oh, that. Here we go. Yeah, I want to go up those stairs, but we're going to hit the shrine. Let's go back to the entrance. Oh my gosh, that was rough. It wasn't rough. Like, I, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Like, I was never really in threat of dying. But at the same time, you're always at the threat of dying. Because um, we don't have a lot of party members you can interchange. People get tired. They leave. Um, at times, if an enemy gets that one random critical hit on you, then they're gonna get another hit and they'll take out your enemies. The enemies do an inordinate amount of damage in this game. It's crazy how much damage they do. Can we go back to the dorm? We deuce out. Hit him with that deuce deuce. All right, so we'll do one more day. I'm gonna play through one more day because I think that's really fun. <laughs> I think it's really fun. Don't care what you think, nah. But I do, I wanna go back to school and <laughs> uh, see what's going on there. Oh, we walked with, no, we didn't walk with Junpei. We just saw him at the entrance. What's up, dude? What do you think? Uh, about what? About Fukuyama Gishi? Of course, yeah. She's, uh, he's trying to holler. He's your playboy of this game. Um, so, kind of interesting. It's really cool. I mean, all the tropes from anime are here, but, uh, the characters here match up really well with Persona 4 characters. Another great song. Yo, it's gonna be crazy putting all these song titles in, too. That's the one thing, like, I have to edit this. Um, I was gonna edit this this afternoon, earlier. Um, yes. Yeah, I'll come talk to you, because you're so, so extremely nervous. Oh, boy. Memories. Um, yeah, there are going to be mad song titles in these videos, because I love all these songs, and I want to make sure that you know what song titles they are. So you can go find them, and you can go listen to them. Alright, Psychotherapy. Another cool thing about the game, you can actually sit through classes. Um, so that's snazzy. The one thing is, though, these lectures are incredibly long. Um, and I don't feel like reading through all this text. So I'm just going to kind of skip and skip and skippity dip dip. I think this song's called Want to Be Close. At least I know that's what she was just saying, but I'm pretty sure that's what, what it is. The uh, Persona 3 Portable has, I think, a couple extra songs. Um, I want to say a couple of extra songs, and they use songs in a little bit different manner. So some places that were featuring certain songs, I'm pretty sure they change up a little bit. Um, but close your eyes, of course, we're not going to doze off because you'll actually learn something. It's kind of a catch-22 though. If you go to sleep during school, you'll be awake for Tartarus at night, so you'll get more... Um, you won't be tired as quickly, but at the same time, you'll miss out on little academic stats. And there's so many different stats in this game. Alright, so we got uh, Magic Man Kenji over here. He's the magician of the Arcana. No, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, we got, who else? Who is over there? Oh, we have a uh, swimsuit guy. I like the sunlight coming in from the windows. But uh, do I want to talk to Chihiro? Yo, this file is going to be so huge. Um, let's check here. Yes, Link? Chihiro is, uh, what's she, treasurer? She's rank one. All right, so we'll holler at her. Uh, let's see. Miyasan, are you on your way home? Want some company? Seems like Chihiro wants to talk to you. Yes, I have Angel. All right, that's perfect. Uh, yeah, we'll accept the offer to spend some time with her. I don't think there's a save point in the school. There might be one at the desk. I know there is in uh, 
Persona 3 Portable, but, you know, it's kind of tough, because uh, you can save at the school. In this game, the save points are a little bit more sparse, so there's one at Tartarus, I'll get back to this in a second, but there's one at Tartarus and one at, uh, in the dorm, so I think if you if you fail at Tartarus, you kind of go back to Tartarus, um, but if you fail, like, during, if you want to restart, you have to start at the end of the day, so kind of annoying, but, uh, sorry to bother you, no, don't worry about it, because you need confidence boosting. I was busy searching through the books. I'm sorry if I ignored you. Yo, it's okay. You're a bookworm. That's what bookworms do. Do you read much? Uh, I mean, I read the classics. I think that's what she would like. Let's say that. Yeah, of course. But I'm pretty sure if you say something like, I read manga, she'd like it even more. Or like, if you say you don't read much, she appreciates your honesty, something like that. But that's what I'm saying, like, these choices are really hard, because you can get up to three stars or three music notes when you, uh, when you talk or when you interact with characters like this. Um, not really. Let's go with not really. You're welcome. I'm glad we could help you, Chihiro-chan. Our relationship is stronger. We've reached level two. I like the little thing that the uh, exclamation point or the question mark that appears above Minato's head because it's like, holy crap, what just happened? It's a real shot. It's a real shocker for him. Okay, so we boosted our justice levels. Friendly senpai. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, see you later. There are times where you'll meet some characters that you're doing missions, or not missions, you're doing, uh, you're interacting with, you'll meet other characters, and you have a chance to boost their relationship levels too, Welcome so back. always keep an eye out for those. Yeah, more victims, more victims, what's new? Um, okay. I guess you're right. No, it's kind of creepy when you think about it. Can't use your personas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be the end of this this little portion of what I'm playing. I'm sure I'll come back to this game if I don't LP it sometime in the future, in the near future, I guess. Because um, we're coming up on the end of GTA 4 in a sense. We're moving right along in that game. But thank you very much for watching. Next time, I'm sure we'll do something with this game. Probably, probably something. Who knows? Anyway, where'd everybody go? Is everybody here? How can I help you? Is anybody even here tonight? Somebody's still not feeling well? No, I don't want to know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.